Um, when it is important to understand that effective management of water resources requires accurate, timely, and reliable measurements and monitoring of water consumption practices. That is uh, something that has been found, and that is going to be one of the key areas to look at how do we achieve that. Water is life and key resource for livelihood. It is not only for ourselves, but for everybody, including also the animals. We'll also be looking at something seriously about uh, supply versus demand. In recent years, the demand for water has increased significantly due to climate changes and other factors such as increasing population and rapid urbanization. As a result, government across countries are heavily focusing on developing framework related to water management, uh, policies, and comprehensive strategy for long-term water resource management. These are pressure to water utilities to reduce water losses from both an environmental and financial uh, standpoint. We are rolling out a smart metering uh, uh, infrastructure uh, in the Water Resource Authority for managing uh, water obstruction. Here we are in partnership with uh, KIFWA, uh, with, with a fund uh, engine, and also with the, the Water Authority. And also here we are with also the, the Smart Meters uh, Association of Africa uh, to be able to roll out this to the water service providers. This, the, 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 one of the things which is key in, uh, in, uh, in Mwanaingi uh, how this pro project in fact impacts Mwanaingi is billing. A lot of uh, uh, people pay bills which they don't understand. A lot of the bills they pay, they are, they are given a bill, but they, cannot be able, they are not based on usage. And smart metering targets to be able to give bills which are based on usage, on daily usage. So you get uh, bills which are, are based on what you use every day, as opposed to getting a bill which you only read uh, and you cannot be able to understand what is your usage for daily. So smart metering targets to be able to implement a way of Wanaingi uh, or transparency uh, in billing and also ensuring that uh, there is uh, less water loss in uh, distribution. Find some Wanaingi's pay, others don't pay. Smart metering targets to ensure that everybody is able to pay for what they use. As KIFWA, we support um, innovative ideas that use water to solve the societal challenges. Challenges to do with climate change, challenges that bring uh, development. This is one such initiative. Uh, this project is not just um, a simple project benefiting a few people, but it's a project that will benefit the whole nation. It will benefit the government by providing planning data. It will benefit regulators by uh, enabling them to have uh, sufficient data for water allocation. It will, it will benefit the private sector by creating business opportunities. And then it will benefit uh, the common Mwanaingi by being able to provide uh, data on water usage, uh, data on uh, non-revenue water, uh, and data on all other metrics. Uh, about water, water that goes to uh, domestic and industrial use, water that goes to energy, water that goes to um, f uh, farming. You must have seen acro across the last one year of how the implementation of the metering, both in electricity and water, has been a challenge. And it's not only in, um, in Kenya only, it's uh, happening across, uh, across the region. And these meters, they are meant to bring more satisfaction to customers, they are meant to reduce cost, and they are meant to increase revenue for the utilities. So our association will ensure that uh, we have uh, similar platforms where a meter working in Nairobi can work in Embu, can work in, in Nakuru, which is not uh, happening at this juncture. We also want the electricity smart meters, the people in our association to be the ones who will be given the forefront in any activity to do with uh, smart metering in, uh, in this region.